Okay guys, well, uh, we are working on another project here at Crowley House. One that has been long in the waiting. I have been wanting to do this for a very long time. Jason's just arrived with some lumber and we are getting ready to build some raised beds and finish the Mediterranean dry garden. So we are gonna get this truck unloaded. show you guys something here this is what our soil is like this is what we get when it starts drying out pretty pretty ugly soil we have that everywhere but generally we don't have a hard time growing stuff I mean, look at that people that think that we get nothing but rain we I don't think we've seen rain really like a good amount since May and in this area also because it is a low point coming off the mountain we do get this this also floods in the winter time. So it's like a double-edged sword. Super dry in the summer, super muddy in the winter. This time of year, the harvest starts to change here on the farm from flowers to more of the produce and, and, and preserving more of the food. Right now I'm trying to get off all the apples that are ripe. We're just filling crates full putting a little bit of paper between them and putting them in the storage until I can get to them. Probably making some applesauce, which was a big hit this year. We have several apple trees here on the farm, along with some elderberry, and we have some blackberries, blueberries, every kind of berry fruit that you can imagine. The other day I preserved some cherries and I went ahead and preserved some, the first batch of elderberry syrup that will be used later in the cold season when we all get sick. It's just nice to have on the pantry shelf.
their tire is like almost flat. <laughs> so heavy. Today is day three on the project and Brayden is working on this little Mediterranean garden which is just this little strip between the terracotta here and there's a olive tree planted and then it goes all the way over to here which we have another olive tree and we're just putting down some rock to create a little bit of a retaining wall it's got a little bit of a slope and then we're having the soil tomorrow morning the truck is going to be here and brought in fresh soil um, going down as well Well, good morning. It is day four on our big project of putting together all these raised beds and bringing in soil. The truck is supposed to be here, I would say in the next hour. They said between seven and 7.30. Um, we're using our neighbor's field. Um, it's a grass seed field that's right by the fence line. And they're gonna actually blow the soil into each of the raised beds. So we lined the beds with uh, landscape fabric. It was old landscape fabric that we were gonna have to recycle anyways. It had the holes in it that were pre-drilled for all of the, um, pre-drilled for all of like the plants to come through. Um, and then we layered in cardboard. So the reason I just, I was gonna recycle or take the landscape fabric. It was kind of falling apart, frayed. So I decided to go ahead and just use it as a barrier because it's, a lot of it was still really good. We just don't use a lot of landscape fabric. So this will just help cut down on weeds because this has been a field uh, with a lot of weeds in it. Um, it's been, and you know, as you know, we had a tarp over it for a long time and then this is the process we're doing. So in between each one of these rows, we are planning to do a little bit of like the playground uh, mulch, bark mulch. That works really, really well keeping down the weeds and then a nice pathway between. So let's work for me. Anyways, the truck is here and so we're gonna get started. I have one um, little section that Brayden started working on. I'm gonna move a few rocks, which is the dry garden. In case we have leftover soil, we're gonna put it here um, in this little dry garden thing that I am making. So I'm gonna give you a quick little look before and after. So this will be kind of fun for you guys that want to follow along with us over the next couple of years to see how this garden transforms and grows from this patch of weeds that we just mowed to a beautiful, beautiful garden, hopefully. That's my plan at least. So Brayden moved rocks here. I'm going to go ahead and, and move the rocks a little bit further down um, just to keep the soil in line and then we'll move some more rocks up top here later as decorative kind of things so the plan is is we've got three small boxes there we've got these racks that we're going to have sweet peas on we have tomatoes on them right now um, and then we have these long beds that we've covered in cardboard and then the high tunnel has got two more large beds and then over here is going to be another greenhouse that we're going to put in that's going to be off-grid but heated kind of like a propagation house and then over here we're going to have some more cutting um kind of evergreen shrubs and things like that that we use for um everyday kind of designing with mm -hmm. So we have six raised beds total that got filled plus the dry garden. Uh, we put some soil in there, which will make it easier for me to plant into. We have a pretty heavy clay here and we always have to amend it quite heavily um, with compost and such um, to be able to plant into it, especially back here in this section of the garden. It tends to get pretty wet. We have puddles that form and in the summertime, it just becomes so dry and cracked and literally like rock. So we're putting in the raised beds just to make life a little bit easier for me to garden and also to grow beautiful, beautiful flowers. Um, I think it's coming along well, and this has taken us years and years to be able to inch our way back. I think we started gardening here probably a little over 10 years ago, and 
we have slowly started to build up the infrastructure and being able to do um, a project like this which was kind of expensive um, to do but every year we choose one thing to do last year was the greenhouse that we put in or the two greenhouses we put in we put in the cottage greenhouse and then we put in the low tunnel when monies allow we will start on the next project which is going to be a propagation house guys have been working for about two and a half hours and they've gotten what how many beds done Jay four and a half beds so they're about halfway done this is a big job the truck just overheated so they're taking a break I feel bad but you know what it beats like lifting wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow we ordered 32 yards we were not sure if we need all of them um, but it's you know that's could you imagine how many wheelbarrow full and I just can't do that right now. So this has just been really, really nice um, to spend the extra money to get this done. So it's been a couple more hours later. They're working pretty hard. They had a clog in the truck and so it ended up, they had to unclog it and now they're having to hand wheelbarrow and pick up a whole bunch of it um, into place before they can start blowing it again. I guess that's just the nature of things today. So I'm assuming it'll take a couple more hours or maybe an hour more. I'm not sure exactly how much longer they will have to go, but it's looking really, really good. Um, it's starting to get warm out and I'm glad we had this nice overcast day to get this done. But yeah, it's coming along really, really well. I've been going back and forth from the field to making bread. We've got dinner guests coming tonight. So we also have a ton of mixed bouquets going out today. We're making, I think, 125. So Riley and I have started on that. Emma's going to be here shortly. She's working a half day um, for us. And yeah, that's just the way the day's going. It's just busy. It's just a busy, busy day. So Riley, I, and Emma ended up making a couple bouquets extra for the guys to take home. So we thought they would like that and they did. They were like, wow, that's kind of cool. So we like to share our flowers as much as we can. Anyways, it looks like they're almost done. They had to go back for a second load and to fix their truck because it kind of broke down for a short time. And just like that, the job is done. It looks amazing. What would have taken me weeks and a very sore body took pretty much a good majority of the day. Jason's running over and grabbing what's left. He took the little four wheeler and the, the trailer back there and he's gonna grab, there was some that, debris that kind of fell out of the truck, especially when they're having some issues um, with the truck breaking down, it kept spitting out a ton. So he's going over there to grab what's left and we're just gonna kind of fill in the garden a little bit more but we got everything that i needed and i did end up having enough for my little mediterranean dry garden that i'm putting in so that will be really really nice to have done so here's a finished look at what we did Well, you guys, that's it for today's video. I am so pleased on how this turned out and I can't wait to get planting and all the things in it, but we'll take you along as we do that, probably starting in the next video, which is gonna be really, really cool to get that just ready for spring. So anyways, until next time, much success in all you do and grow, and we'll be seeing you shortly back here at Crowley House very soon. Bye-bye.